All right, gonna do a video explaining why the Roman Catholic Mass is an imperfect sacrifice and imperfect offering. Uh, just like how Roman Catholicism is an imperfect corruption of the faith once delivered unto the saints. Jude 3 talks about that, how the faith was once delivered unto the saints. But first of all, it needs to be pointed out that Romanism claims that its priesthood imitates the Old Testament priesthood. You can see paragraphs uh, number 1539, 1540, 1541, 1542, 1543, and 1544, and 1548 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. But if this were so, if they really were trying to be like the Old Testament Israelite priesthood, then it actually refutes the Roman Catholic Mass and shows why it's imperfect. First of all, okay, the high priests of the law were imperfect and sinners themselves. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained uh, for men and things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, uh, for that he himself is also compassed, compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof, he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Okay. But again, notice verse 2. He himself also is compassed with infirmity. Okay, the high priests of the Old Testament were imperfect. Uh, hence, while the sacrifices they offered up could never amount to the sacrifice Christ does. In fact, those high priests had to offer up sacrifices for their own sins as well. Talks about you know because they were imperfect. Just like how the Roman Catholic priest has to continually offer up the mass because when the scripture get down to the facts of the matter, they're imperfect. See, the Roman Catholic Church, their sacrifices are not the perfect sacrifice of Christ. Hence, while they have to keep sacrificing and crucifying in their own minds, uh, essentially like what they think they are doing every single week at Mass. Uh, here's the thing, though, is that Christ could do what those high priests couldn't. Hebrews chapter 7, verses 23 to 28. And I, I too, that Christ can do what the Roman Catholic priest of Baal can't do. Romans chapter 7, or sorry, Hebrews, sorry, chapter 7, verses 23 down to verse 28. And they truly were many priests, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth and maketh intercession for them. For such, for such an high priest become us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Who needeth not daily as though as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the for the people's for this he did once when he off when he offered up himself uh, for the law maketh men high priests which have infirmity but the word of the oath uh, which was which was since the law maketh the son who is consecrated forevermore again notice that the high priest they had they were not perfect they had to offer, offer up sacrifices for themselves but christ could do what they couldn't do but with the Roman Catholic priesthood of Baal, essentially, was what they are, uh, it's no different. Uh, that is why God's son had to offer up himself as that perfect sacrifice. Because, again, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 4 talks about how the, the blood of bulls and goats can never take away sins. And, again, you, you compare this with the fact that, again, the high priests were sinners themselves. So their sacrifice only further made it imperfect, unlike the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. But, again, this is why God's Son had to offer up himself as that perfect sacrifice. Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. Good uh, foreshadowing of all this. Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them together. Again, notice that God will provide himself. It's a good foreshadowing with the fact of Jesus Christ being the Lamb of God, John, uh, John chapter 1, verse 29, who is, you know, sent for the sacrifice to pay for sins. It's that simple. Also, John chapter 1, verse 36 talks about Jesus Christ being the Lamb of God as well. God will provide himself. Good foreshadowing of that. Romans chapter 8, verse 3. Another good scripture on the matter. Romans chapter 8, verse 3. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Again, he had to send his son, because he could do what the high priest couldn't. Uh, 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Uh, 
First John three one five. Here it is. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, uh, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. Beloved, beloved, uh, now are we the sons of God, and and it doth not yet appear uh, what we shall be, but we know that uh, when He shall appear, we shall be we shall be like Him, we shall see Him as He is. Uh, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifest to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Again, the high priest could not, they were not able to do this. Again, the high priest could not do this. And likewise, the Roman Catholic priest of Baal could not do this. Okay? The simple fact of the matter is that the sinful, imperfect Catholic priest trying to imitate the Old Testament priesthood is, by extension, undermining the sacrifice of Christ. It's also a fact that just like the, the imperfect Old Testament high priests were incapable of offering a perfect sacrifice, the imperfect, sinful Catholic priests are just as unable to offer up a perfect sacrifice. This spiritually explains why Christ is offered up every week at the Mass, because in the mind of the Catholic, the sacrifice of Christ is not perfect and isn't finished. It needs to be continually offered up like the Old Testament animal sacrifices. It's that simple. Roman Catholicism is just bondage to the law. Roman Catholicism is of the devil. Roman Catholicism is a false gospel. It's just that simple. The Roman Catholic Mass is an imperfect offering. It's no different than the imperfect animal sacrifices. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. There is no salvation inside the Catholic Church, plain and simple. Uh, Roman Catholicism is a one-way ticket to hell. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.